Subaru is a Japanese word for Pleiades and the company logo, an oval with six four-point stars, represents the Pleiades star cluster. In Cherokee legends, they teach that Native Americans originated long ago in the Pleiades and that indigenous people are on earth as star seeds with a mission of bringing light and knowledge. The Navajo call the Pleiadian star cluster the sparkling suns. The Iroquois relate the constellation to happiness. The Lakota people say their ancestors are from the Pleiades. According to myth, the Pleiadians have a distinctive Nordic or Scandinavian appearance, 700 year lifespans. Also going by the name Seven Sisters, the Pleiades are a group of stars in the Taurus constellation. It is the closest star cluster to Earth. When looking at the cluster without magnification, only six stars can be seen, but there are seven, and the lost seventh is a common theme in multiple mythologies, including Indonesia, Africa, Australia, Europe, and Native America. In ancient Greek cosmology, the Pleiades were the seven daughters of the pre-Olympian Titan Atlas. Hermeticism, an esoteric system based on the writings attributed to Hermes Trismegistus. Hermes may have been from Greece or Egypt, but has been referred to as the son of the Nile. He is also believed to be the father of Western astrology and alchemy. His writings are rumoured to have first appeared in the 2nd century AD Rome, and he has always been associated with the Greek god Hermes, as well as the Egyptian Thoth. According to the Hermetic traditions, the seven stars open seekers to a more refined level of consciousness. Viewed as a school of learning by Hermeticists, only those who have been purified of energetic block teachings come spontaneously during sleep or deep meditation. The Pleiades are also viewed as our solar system's source of electrical energy. From the little sister star, Electra, the Pleiades is also in North Celtic and Bronze Age mythology. The Nebraskai disc, found in 1999 in Saxony, Germany, portrays a detailed star map of the Pleiades star cluster, dated to 1600 BC. The artifact is the earliest known portrayal of the Pleiades in the West. In Bronze Age Europe, the autumn solstice and winter equinox were associated with grief and mourning. At the solstice, the Pleiades would rise in the east as the sun set in the west, mourning the passing of summer as well as the harvest season. In Scandinavian or Viking cultures, the Pleiades were thought of as Freya's chicks, Freya being the Norse goddess of love, beauty and fertility. For protection, some would paint seven spots representing the seven stars on hen houses. Ladybugs were also associated with the cluster because of the seven spots on their wings. The Pleiades are also in Asian cosmologies. The first astronomical mention of the star cluster was in the Chinese annals of roughly 2350 BC and was referred to as the blossom stars or flower stars. At the tomb of the Hongwu Emperor, founder of the Ming Dynasty, when viewed from the air, the tomb complex echoes the arrangement of the visible Pleiades stars. In Japan, the Pleiades relates to the cultural value of harmonious grouping or teamwork, a characteristic of samurai and shogun societies. Hindu mythology tells that the seven sisters, called Kratika, were married to the Rishis, the seven sages that made up the stars of the Great Dipper, all lived together happily in the northern sky. Charles Hall is famous for his book series, Millennial Hospitality, but the author is actually a US Air Force personnel and wrote the books to reveal his experiences with the tall white aliens when he was posted at the Nellis Air Force Base at Nevada in the year 1964. Initially, he wrote his experiences under the cover of a science fiction book. Later, he summoned up more courage to reach the mass and confess that the things revealed in his books are actually real and that extraterrestrials actually exist. There were many true incidents where credible people 
have got the opportunity to witness Nordic aliens in front of their eyes. In 1954 in Staffordshire, England, it is believed that Jessie Rosenberg witnessed a unique flying object that was hovering above her house. Jessie described that she was able to see two Nordic aliens inside the craft. I was in the back kitchen of the house preparing myself, just having washed, and I heard this noise. So I slipped on my jumper, I ran out, and to my amazement, there suspended on the top of the roof of this old farm was this object that I can only describe as a huge Mexican hat. It must have been 15 to 20 yards from where I stood. The people in the spacecraft were just looking out. I could see them from the waist to the top of their heads. They were very beautiful people. They had long golden hair like the old kings used to wear turned under. In 1992 in Sydney, Australia, Peter Curry suddenly got shocked when two strange looking women were kneeling near his bed. After some time when the two unusual looking women disappeared, he found a blonde strain of hair. After conducting DNA testing, it was concluded that it wasn't human. He also passed a lie detector test. Jordan Maxwell was just 19 years old when he had gone to meet his girlfriend. He was left in shock. Her father told Jordan that he had connection with Nordic aliens. L. Ron Hubbard, a well-known American author and founder of the Church of Scientology, is also one of those people who claim to have had an encounter with Nordic aliens. Jack Parsons, a rocket propulsion researcher and an American rocket engineer, also claimed to have met with Nordic aliens on a desert in the year 1946. Also, Billy Meir, a Swiss farmer, also had an encounter with Nordic aliens. Ancient cultures achieved a deep understanding of the celestial movement. The Aztecs of Tenochtitlan worshipped the Pleiades and had a sophisticated calendar based upon the idea of a cyclical time. From the astronomically oriented temple built on the apex of the hill, the priests watched as the Pleiades passed the zenith, signalling the salvation of the world. Similar to the Aztecs, who related their new fire ceremony to the Pleiades, the Egyptians observed the reappearance of Sirius in their New Year ceremony. Teotihuacan, or the City of the Gods, is located 30 miles northeast of Mexico City. When the Aztecs found it, they gave it the name Teotihuacan, and it was the place where time began and where the gods were born. The city was accurately laid out on a rectangular grid and an arrangement of ceremonial buildings bear similarities to a precise scale model of our solar system. Various mythical texts have mentionings about reptilian figures which were usually hostile towards mankind. Indian epics have mentioning about reptilian demons that could come out of water and destroy villages and cities and there is no such earthly being that matches the description of these demons. It is evident that these mythical texts spoke about the reptilian aliens. The Aztec god Quetzalcoatl was described as a serpent of wisdom that enlightened mankind with the knowledge before civilizations were built. These gods are described as having reptilian figures and large yellow eyes. The European dragon that's mentioned in various mythological stories it was obvious that Europeans had encounters with reptilian beings who were hostile. Boreas, the Greek god of the cold north wind, is being described as a winged man with serpents for legs. In various Indian texts and works of literature, one can find the mentioning of a race called the Nagas, who lived in the underworld and established contact with humans. These Nagas are being described to have various physical deformities and several reptilian characteristics, making them sound like ancient reptilians who had their bases underground. Chinese, Korean and Japan mythological texts also have mentioning about dragons that bear reptilian features and were believed to live under the water. African folklore mentions about a race of reptilians 
that were supposedly controlling the earth thousands of years ago. This reptilian race is known as the Chaituri and was thought to have educated native Africans to mine gold for them. There are also some statues and artifacts from ancient Sumerian civilization that looks like reptilian humanoids. These statues have large bulging eyes and reptilian features. The Kapo, a Japanese reptilian alien, 